welcome to bsc statistics students so in this class i explain one more problem problem number 3 in uh, test for two means small sample case that is t test for two means a small sample case you see here the problem two types of electrical bulbs were tested and the data is given below so this is the data type 1 type 2 two types of bulbs sample size 8 and 7 means 1234 that is 1234 and 1036 average lifetime that is uh, mean standard deviation 36 and 40 for type 1 and type 2 so this is the data is given that is uh, n1 is given n1 is equal to 8 n2 is equal to 7 x bar and y bar s1 and s2 you see the size of the sample, then you decide whether it is a small sample or a large sample. Large sample means, uh, I explained that uh, the sample size must be greater than 30. Otherwise, it is a, that is, uh, the sample size, if the sample size is less than or equal to 30, it is a small sample. So, it is obvious, uh, n1 is equal to 8, n2 is equal to 7, which are less than 30. Therefore, which are small samples. That is, uh, it is a problem of small sample. Now, you have to conduct the test, uh, test for means. Why? Because uh, the average lifetime, it is uh, very important in this particular problem. So, you see here the test uh, a question, is the difference in the means sufficient? So, the, it is a problem of testing the means. It is a problem of testing means. So, in the small sample case, uh, when do you use uh, t-test? Sigma is not known. If sigma is known, we use uh, normal distribution and the test procedure of large sample. The same test procedure of large sample by using the normal distribution is going to be used. Whereas, if, uh, if the sigma is not known, if sigma is not known, then we use T distribution. You see the question, is the difference in the mean sufficient to warrant the type 1 is superior to type 2 regarding the length of the life at 1% level? So, the question is whether type 1 is superior to type 2 regarding the average lifetime that we have to see, right. So, we have to test. So, based on this particular information, sigma is not given and n1, n2, x bar, y bar, s1, s2 are given here. Sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known. There are the two particular values, sigma 1 population standard deviations, sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known. Then, in such a case, we have to calculate capital S. Of course, we can calculate later on, but even you can calculate here s is equal to square root of n1 s1 square plus n2 s2 square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2. n1 8 s1 square 36 square plus 7 n2 7 s2 square 40 square this one divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 7 8 plus 7 minus 2. So, some value 40.73 it is right. So, now we consider the regular points uh, the null hypothesis first of all h naught mu 1 is equal to mu 2 what is it what what does it mean it means uh, type 1 and type 2 have the same length of the life of electrical bulbs so the two types of electrical bulbs are giving the same life uh, that is our uh, null hypothesis with no difference and alternative hypothesis uh, that is mu 1 h 1 mu 1 greater than mu 2 it is a one tile test that is we are what we are uh, uh, specifying here uh, the type 1 is superior to type 2 regarding the life of the electrical bulbs. So type 1 is superior which means population, first population average, it is more than second population average, average lifetime, average means in the sense of lifetime, right. So therefore, mu 1 greater than mu 2, it is a one tile test. Now test the statistic under H0, which means uh, uh, we, what we have to calculate uh, here, uh, what we have to consider. The case here sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known. Sigma 1, sigma 2 are not known. So, therefore, uh, on the test, test, we have to use that test statistic under H0 T distribution. We have to use T distribution. That T statistic, T is equal to x bar minus y bar by S into square root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2, which follows T n1 plus n2 minus 2. That is, uh, it is 1200 and x bar 1234 minus y bar 1036 divided by s yes, 40.73 multiplied by square root of 1 by n1 it is 1 by 8 plus 1 by n2 it is 1 by 7 is equivalent to some 9.39.
So now what you have to consider in the inference are the final comparison and conclusion. In the comparison and conclusion, uh, what you have to calculate is modulus of t first of all. That is 9.39. Okay. It is okay. And then t alpha comma n1 plus n2 minus 2 and uh, which tile test it is. Alpha is level of significance. It is specified in the problem as 1%. Therefore, we consider 1%. N1 plus N2 minus 2, 8 plus 7 minus 2 is 13. So, T 1% comma 13 degrees of freedom. And uh, at, uh, we have to consider for one tile test. At one tile test, that is for uh, one tile test from the T tables, uh, the three points, 1% level, 13 degrees of freedom. For one tile test T ta from the T tables, the value is 2.650. It is called significant value or tabulated value. So, therefore, if you compare these two, 9.39 is always greater than 2.65. Therefore, modulus of t is greater than t 1% comma 13. That is alpha comma n1 n1 percent to minus 2. That is H0 is rejected. So therefore, we may accept H1. That is uh, type 1 electrical uh, bulbs that which are superior to type 2 electrical bulbs regarding the length of the life. Hope you understand. This is what our conclusion. The alternative hypothesis is going to be accepted. That is mu1 is greater than mu2. Type 1 is superior to type 2. So this is what our conclusion. Hope you understand. Thank you.